well in light of the circumstances anyway it's a bit of a dodgy one isn't it i didn't really film last week because dan was poorly we've no idea if it was corona or not like we've no way to say whether it was other than that he had all the symptoms and he's still quite ill but not like it's not stopping him doing anything particular like, you just may hear him coughing quite a bit so yeah we've been sort of inside now for two and a half weeks because obviously i've had to stay in for two weeks because dan's had symptoms touch wood I've not had anything yet. But yeah, we've no way of knowing for definite at the minute if it was corona. The doctors, he spoke to about four GPs and they said it probably was. He did have to go in for like some vial check things because Dan's type 1 diabetic. So it's been quite a stressful few weeks and worrying. I know it's worrying for everyone right now. It's worrying all aspects of life. And yeah, it's just a weird time, isn't it? I know technically I work from home anyway. So for me, I feel like it should be less of a change but it is so weird i'm less motivated what is there to be motivated for you're going nowhere you've got nothing to do there's no cute little coffee breaks that we all take for granted yeah it's just a bit of a limbo period that feels a bit strange but anyway trying to be positive i've got dressed today Ooh. gonna be brunette at the end of this definitely i was waiting last time i went to my hairdressers i didn't have any blonde put in just so i could get my hair back in a good condition obviously didn't think we'd be going quite this long in between appointments i've also done my hair using socks so i'll try and pop the video i think it will have already gone on my instagram but i'll try and pop it here so you can see so i just pop socks in my hair i think curls like this that have sort of set overnight because i slept in these are one of the only things that stays in my hair so yeah i thought i'd just spruce myself up today i feel a bit happier it's friday night dinner tonight that's on i'm gonna watch goggle box i'm gonna have a few glasses of wine and i'm just trying to be positive about it and i want to use like this weird time that we're all gonna remember for something productive so try and do a bit of baking i think i'm just doing like what everybody's doing like baking cleaning clearing out the house doing random crafts so obviously i still work from home and i still do all my jobs and stuff but it's not the same there's not as much work going on so i think it's just like occupying your mind and staying busy i did buy a few things so i feel like i didn't really know whether to post it or not but i do feel like a lot of people are sat at home feeling miserable worried nervous and stuff about what's going on in the world so i am going to show you just a few things that i bought and i kind of bought these a while back before it all properly kicked off so this will probably be what i'm buying for a good while now so i hope that's all right i know it's not necessarily a shopping time but everyone's at home and miserable and it's just quite a scary time so i've got a few bits from asos i've got a nice andover stories parcel which i'm very excited about because i've not had anything from them for a long time and i've been wanting to get a few little bits of spring and then obviously now i will only be wearing them in my house it would have been <laughs> but i did order these like a good like almost two weeks ago now so yeah to start on asos lounge stuff because i feel like that is going to be most appropriate right now um i wanted to get some dalmatian pajamas how cute are these so i ended up buying these in a 12 because i don't think they had my size but for pajamas it don't really matter does it I don't really know how long places like ASOS and that are going to be keeping warehouses going and stuff. I mean, I will link stuff, but yeah, I don't feel like I'll be doing much more shopping now. And I don't know if it's, I don't know, it's such a weird thing, isn't it? It's like, what what is going to happen next? But anyway, I will pop links for you if you do want them. And I'm sure at the weekend the sites will still be running. But yeah, these are the little shorts very very cute i just thought they look nice in this bedroom they will take a lovely picture i know it's bad that like that my purchases revolve around what will look good on instagram but i'll be wearing them anyway and if they happen to photograph well that works out quite nice so i got that little set and then i bought this one. Oh, i love this oh i got an eight in this um so this is more like it's a little bit that's quite a big eight I ain't got that big boobs. So this little top, another Dalmatian print one, but then it's got long trousers to go with it. 
So I think this is a pretty little thing one, but on ASOS. I really like that one. I feel like that's a bit more like pajamas, but you want to feel like a bit more glam. Um, so I got those two. And then the last one. Oh, I like these. Little frilly top, and then it's got little shorts to go with it. So these are from Misguided. Again, from ASOS though, but they're quite like a brushed cotton. They will be on Instagram this week in pictures, I'm sure. Right, and other stories. They've got so many nice things at the minute, but as we know, it is not cheap. Mainly wanted this cardigan. Oh, I didn't buy. I think I cut down my order. Because I think I thought I was being silly. I thought I'd bought two of this skirt. It comes in like a polka dot as well. And I <laughs> thought I'd bought that as well. I think I got realistic in the line there. That's too much. Anyway, the cardigan was the main thing that I wanted. There's some nice little spring vibes. And just a nice investment piece. That's always going to be spring-like, isn't it? Like a nice little green cardigan. I just wanted it to wear with denim and stuff. So I thought that would be quite nice for the next few weeks or worn over little dresses. Then I bought this dress. I know we're all talking about loungewear and like some people keep commenting on videos like, well, no one's going to be wearing this. You're not going to be wearing this. And I'm like, I'm not spending the next six months of my life in jogging bottoms. Like if we have to stay in, fair enough. But like, I'm not going to want to spend forever in loungewear so yeah I'm still gonna want to have little dresses and nice things and it's gonna be warmer like we're not gonna need jumpers on even in the house so this was the next thing that I got it was quite long it's just got the little tie detail at the back and it's actually like a polka dot it's not leopard print but I thought that would be cute maybe even under the cardigan that I've got and it feels a really nice quality I bought some little socks again just spring ones thought they'd be nice in trainers or something the last one was this skirt and i didn't buy the other skirt that i thought I <laughs> oh i think i remember oh actually that is my new that's probably a good idea i didn't i wanted to buy one of these but i wanted to make sure it was tight on the waist i do remember now removing the other one from the basket so i ordered in a six i'm not a six but i wanted it i didn't want to have to wear it with a belt I think I decided to order the one, like the green one, and then see what the size was like. And if not, get the other one in a bigger size. I think I needed an eight. That is very, that's not gonna fit my waist. Tiny little people. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Oh, this is about corona. off. Come out. No. Yeah. He's got corona. Yeah, I literally just come out. <gasps> Oh my god. It just gets bad, doesn't it? News every day. Every day I wake up and think, what's it going to be today? <laughs> what next? Anyway, we'll go back to talking about shit that's just not important. But, yeah. I don't think that's going to fit me. I don't think if, if it did fit me now, it's definitely not going to fit me by the end of quarantine. So, I might have to send that back for an eight. Oh, I do really like it as well, so that's a shame. Because it's got like little darts at the back yeah never mind so last couple of things are from asos again not loungewear this time i mean you could wear these as loungewear these are just some nice little flared leggings they're in this sort of nude color i do love flares in general i always just think they're a really flattering fit and these have got the sort of seam down the middle so i think they're a nice little basic for spring when you don't want to have your legs out i feel like they'd look nice with like a little band t-shirt or something like that um last things are these trainers from Reebok so I was wanting to get some sort of summer light trainers something that go with like all these little summery dresses and ASOS had these ones from Reebok and they've got like a tortoiseshell sole I think they're so nice I love them I think they were about 70 quid or something like that ASOS had got a 20% discount so I got quite a good deal on them love them they'd be so nice if i was going anywhere for the summer. <laughs> but i think they'll be good with dresses so i've got like visions of something like this together i'm gonna go now because i want to go and read about boris having corona 
I probably won't be doing much today other than what everyone else is doing. Staring out a window, eating crisps. <laughs> I'm gonna tidy up and stuff, I think, on the house. Do a workout, like, try I'm trying to do workouts. I mean, workouts are big. I'm sorry, but all these live videos doing workouts, and I know I'm, like, trying to post, like, oh, I've done a little workout today, I've done this, done that. It's hard, I can't do it. It's hard work motivating yourself at home. Like, getting up and knowing you've got to be at the gym for a certain time, and then you've got to come home and, you know, you're giving yourself a time slot, I can do that, but like saying to yourself, right, I'm gonna do this workout at 11, just doesn't happen when you're at home. So as much as I keep seeing people like doing these workouts and stuff and I'm like, yeah, good, like, good for you. I'm struggling with the motivation. So I'm spending as much time as anyone else just watching people doing exercise thinking, I can't be bothered. I think next week I might film like a morning routine and just like a daytime, what we're doing and stuff like that. I think it's quite comforting just to see people do nice relaxing things. So I think I'm going to do that. But yeah, I hope that was just a little bit of escapism. Just to look at clothes, pretend we've got exciting places to wear them. Um, and yeah, I will see you all soon.